Hi, Mr. Biggs from Stutz Racing again. Back in the day when you used to cut chain, we used to use a grinder. Well, guess what? We don't use grinders anymore. You know what I say? You gotta use a little bit triactin. You know what that means? Try acting like a man and get some breakage on your chain. So you watched our other video. We're gonna show you how to use our other breaker that we sell on, on our website here. Um, this is our chain block. Um, this one is a little bit cheaper than uh, the other one that we showed you in our previous video. Uh, this one uses a style where it drives a pin through. And you guys ask me, well, how does that differ from the other one? This is what you use when you break chain normally. You use a master link, okay? And this is cool, this is fun, this is a good time, it's easy, but they break and sometimes you can have problems. So we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna go with this. So how this one works here is when you get it, it's gonna look just like that, okay? You put your chain inside, it's gonna lay in there like that. Like our previous video, it actually has a pin, and I'll take it out here and show you, that drives this through. This is nice because you don't need a master link. So if you're having problems with breaking master links and your, your, your chain's just not right and you're buying one master link after another, you can use this breaker. So what you do is unloosen this, make sure it's not in the way here of the pin moving back and forth. Then you have to tighten this one down. This is very important. This is what keeps your chain safe, cozy, warm inside the breaker. Tighten this down. Go ahead and put a couple ratchets on it here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten this down. Now when you do this, you really wanna make sure that you're doing it very lightly in very steady pressure. And as you can see there, the pin is actually coming out. Now I'm gonna run this pin all the way out. Speed it up here a little bit. It's right about there. Now I might have to go back and do this because you sometimes can't judge how far it's going to come until it comes out. Take this off. Now that's all the way out. Now we gotta undo our other one here. Now, see I didn't go far enough. It's still actually locked in there. So I'll have to go back in and do it a little bit more. Completely normal. Tighten that down again. Now when you do this, again, sometimes things can be a little bit off. So just make sure that pin's going in there straight. And what I'm gonna do is just ever so gently Finish pushing it all the way out. Just a couple more turns. Back it off again. Use the ratchet. There you go, that, that comes apart. Now, what's nice about this one here is you can actually drive the pin in and out on the bigger chain. Now, this one that I got here does four, uh, 428 and 420. It's a little bit bigger. So now we're gonna show you how to put the chain back together. Um, this is our more expensive block. This is CNC machined. Uh, this is a really nice tool for bigger chain if you're doing the bigger chain stuff. Uh, the process of putting it back together is going to be the same on this one as it is for the smaller one here. Uh, so what we're going to do is, I, what I do is I just snug this one down. I don't crank it down because obviously you don't want to push your pin out, but you want to hold the chain in there. And what you do is you're going to go ahead and tighten it down. And it's going to actually push this pin back into your chain, requiring you not to have any more master links, which is beautiful. Just tighten her down there. And when we get to the end, it's going to be a little tough, but you want to evenly make sure that that chain, you can see now the both sides look good. looks like the rest of the chain. I'm going to back it off here. Back this one off here. And look, you got a chain with no master link. That's pretty cool, huh? Now, one other thing I do want to share with you guys before I got it in there, 
this is one thing I like to do is I like to keep it just a little bit out so you can kind of wiggle it in there and you see how it kind of clicked together. That's going to give you a good start. You still want to make sure you press this pin in evenly. It, it, when you first get it started, it wants to walk back and forth. Uh, as soon as you get that in there and get it squared up, it'll start going in with ease. Then you got a chain with uh, no master link. Looks pretty nice. Looks pretty professional. That's our chain breakers at Studs Racing. You can find all this stuff. It's available at studsracing.com. Thank you for tuning in. Mr. Biggs is out of here.